Okay, so I'm gonna make a boost leak detector today out of a tin can uh, with the top removed. Drill a hole through it. Take some thread tape and one of these adapters that go to uh, just a power uh, air tool. Then we'll thread tape it up pretty good, like so. And this method works really well, especially if you don't want to waste a lot of money on a boost leak detector, that you can make a fancy one. This right here is a really cheap, inexpensive way to make a boost leak detector, and it's worked for me in the past. Go ahead and you'll thread it through a little bit. Pretty good. And if I was to leave it like that, it would leak. So on the bottom side, we're going to take this union carefully and set it on there and we'll tighten it so that it has a really good seal. Okay, so I got it all tightened up. If it has any leak, it'll be from right here, but you can pressurize your system. Um, this works a lot better if you have PVC pipe, and you can even do a, 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 tire a, a tire valve stem and drill a hole that diameter and pull the valve stem through. That actually works really well too. But this method I've done plenty of times and it works great. And rarely do I have it leak from here, but every once in a while it does. So we'll go to the car real quick and I'll show you how to install it. Take the battery out. Okay, and back in here, there's a coupler that runs directly to the turbo. It fits perfectly inside of that on this one. And it's a nice airtight seal. And we'll go ahead and reinstall the clamp to make sure it's 100% airtight. Might need to loosen up a little bit. And that's what it looks like installed, coming right off of the turbo. Now once you pressurize this, if you hear any leaks, then you'll know where they're coming from. But if you can't hear any, you might still have a leak. Um, you'll take soapy water in a bottle, spray bottle, and spray around every connection, vacuum line, any source where there could be a vacuum leak, that's a boost leak. Um, something so tiny can cause a huge drop in power and boost. So. We'll go ahead and I'll pressurize it and I'll try to find a spray bottle with some soapy water. Okay, my air hose leaks so you, you'll hear that from my air hose because it's a piece of crap. But uh, I'll go ahead and spray some of the areas where it could leak. And then we'll pressurize it. And I already found the boost in it. Once you pull it out, all the air will release. But the boost leak I've already found is coming from my lower passenger side um, coupler where it leaves from the hot side into the intercooler to become the cold side. So. 
I'll get the car jacked up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I went and got more soapy water. Just soap and water. No boost leaks. I also found a spot over here in one of the solenoids. If you can see it, it's bubbling up pretty good. And a spot where the factory blow-off valve goes. I know you probably can't see it that well, but it's bubbling out the side there. You can see it from up here in person. I don't know on camera, but... Found those two spots. And then I did everywhere else and I couldn't find nothing except for right there which those do make a difference these little tiny leaks add up and uh, because of those little leaks I decided to check everywhere else which is what you're supposed to do when looking for boost leaks and the bottom of that coupler down here that's where the issue lies and I'll show you if I spray See the air pushing it out? It's the coupler. Which means I need to reposition the coupler and tighten it down. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that everything's pressurized. It wasn't doing this before because I had so many boost leaks, but now that I got them all taken care of, watch the wastegate actuator. See, this thing actually works as a really good pressure system pressurizer. Okay, well that concludes the brake boost leak test. Now I'm going to go through and there's a cool trick to stop boost leaks if you continuously have them in the same spots. It's hairspray. If you take the couplers off, clean the surface area well, and use hairspray on the couplers, then put them back on, they're almost always guaranteed to not boost leak anymore. I've had this issue on many of the cars I've turboed and the customers' cars that I've worked on that were turboed. Basically, you spray the coupler, shove it on, tighten the clamp, and then it shouldn't come back because that hairspray acts like a little adhesive. They kind of suck to get back off afterwards, but it's not too hard to get off. Um, if they're in a tight spot, it kind of sucks, but basically that's a quick tip right there for you to get those couplers from leaking. Now on the gasket, I'm just going to have to replace the gasket and gasket seal it and it'll be fine for the turbo where the original blow off out goes. Now as for these other vacuum lines, you use zip ties. And the ones that were leaking were the ones that didn't have zip ties on them. So just use small zip ties and tighten them, but you could use the hairspray trick on those as well and it has worked. So if you want to, just go get some cheapo hairspray, spray it, steal some from your girlfriend, wife, or whatever, and spray it on there, stick it on, let it dry, and zip tie it all, and it won't leak. I'm having an issue where I spike up high to about 23, 24 pounds of boost, and it drops all the way down to 8 pounds. Now I know why. I have multiple boost leaks in multiple spots. So this little test shows that you can use a simple tin can to find your boost leaks. I sprayed every every connector, every vacuum line, everything, and that's the only leaks I found. So, hope this video has helped someone out there. This works on more than just the SRT4s. Uh, worked on my Civic. Found boost leaks real quick that way. So go ahead and hit like, subscribe, share if you haven't already. Um, I'm disabling comments on all my videos for a little while because I'm just I don't need negativity in my life. So sucks if you can't comment. Um, I guess just hit the dislike button whatever share it and talk crap because remember you share I make money still you hate I still make money so these videos get views those views turn into profit because of the advertisement you watch you have YouTube red YouTube red you know you don't have to watch ads I still get paid for those so YouTube red is paying me. I mean it's not a large amount of money it's not a crap ton but slow increments help because I have a family so I have wife and kids and bills and this is just my side gig to make videos and any extra profit I can. Work on customers' cars when I get some, which isn't very often, but when I get some, I get some. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, share, and let me know what you guys think whenever I uh, 
return the commenting. Or go to my Instagram and follow me there and give me a message or comment or like my pictures or whatever. So, thanks for watching.